All right. I think this thing might have enough coats on it. It's looking fantastic, too. Oh, my gosh. What a guitar this is, man. Wow. Just fantastic. Beautiful. So, the whole thing is sprayed with Lenmar nitrocellulose lacquer. It is a... Uh, Duralac is the product. Lenmar... It's one of my favorites. And uh, this thing is just fantastic. What a guitar this guy is, man. Look at this guy. Been struck by lightning. Originally, this guitar was struck by lightning. And, um, and I carved it into what you see today. A one-piece guitar here. That's some sapwood right there. It's getting close to the bark there. And uh, lightning hit this thing. It was a big slab. Obviously, it was a tree when it got hit by lightning 13 plus years ago. And then um, I took my time. The wood has to be dry. When it's this thick, you know, you're looking at seven, eight years of just air drying it in the barn. And then I cut it out into a guitar, but I left it real thick and let it set for two years. And then I cut out the neck part of it and let that sit for a year, make sure it didn't do anything goofy. And when it was not doing anything and it was straight, then I made it into a guitar that you see. It's fantastic. And it's cured, it's dried. That's the problem with a thick piece of wood like this, is you know, you gotta, it's gotta be dry. That's the inside of the guitar. I don't know if you can see in there. But it has to be dry. And, uh, that's the only thing you got to worry about with these one-piece guitars is, is it dry enough? And uh, it's just like any other wood once it's dry. So this big misnomer out there is that the neck is going to go bad. And you know, it, not if it's dry. Just like any other neck that's ever made, if it's dry, it's good. If it's not dry, you're going to get into trouble. So you have to take your time, which is why this is not a very popular construction style for the worrying luthiers out there. There's a lot of luthiers out there that are scared that something bad's gonna happen and they don't trust what they're doing. And they don't know what they're doing with a one-piece guitar. So they get goofed out by it. The whole notion of it to them is like anathema because of the control freak issues with most luthiers, which is good. You know, you want a guy who's doing it right. But there's nothing better than these, in my opinion. Sonically, resonant-wise, sustain, energy. Nothing beats the one-piece guitars. 